Hey, welcome back to a bonus episode of Assassin's Creed 2. This is going to be a little different right now because I messed up and I didn't realize that my mic was muted. So throughout this whole, almost this whole episode, I realized, like, my mic was muted and I realized later on that my mic was muted. So, uh, yeah, I fixed it. So I'm just going to go through, like, a commentary uh, kind of thing and just show you what I've been doing. Uh, this is just to show that I completed uh, Assassin's Creed 100%. So uh, just that's what this video video is about. So uh, for this first clip, uh, I I was trying to climb on top of, like the roofs and everything, and I I tried to like step on this one part of the roof, and I fell through, and then I was just like under the map. It was weird. Uh, I wish I could have got gotten on video, but uh, yeah, here it is. So yeah, as you can see, I could like swim around and everything. So like everything was just water under here, but it was just so weird because I've never encountered that. I never thought like I would find a glitch like this. Um, because I rarely do find glitches, uh, in like you know console games. Uh, PC I find them all the time. But uh, yeah. So now for the next clip. Uh, so right here, what I was doing was I was collecting all the feathers. Uh, but then I just want to kind of take a break, kind of do some like achievements, uh, do some achievement hunting. Uh, so one of the achievements that I was working on here was to gather, I think it was like five bodies and hide them into a hay bale. So I found a hay bale right here and I killed some guards real quick. Uh, so yeah, as you can see here, I'm, I keep picking up the weapon. <laughs> it wouldn't, he wouldn't stop picking up the weapon, so I had to move it over. But yeah, so I start picking up the body. And I throw it over, and then we should get the achievement. Street cleaner. Yep. So, yeah, I, I kind of just, like, you know, took a break from doing, like, side stuff. And uh, I'll show you whenever I'm doing the achievements right here. I uh, took a break from doing, like, some side stuff, and I want to do some achievement hunting. A lot of these stuff are like, it's like uh, easy stuff to do. And hold on, let me pause over here. So right here, just the um, very disappointed look right here. Uh, so uh, this one, this one right here took me a very long time to get. Not that it was hard or anything. It was just very time consuming. <clears throat> So what I had, to, what I have to do, the achievement is called Fly Swatter, and you have to kick a guard while using the flying machine. I already did that. This is my, this is my account where I beat the game already, and I'm just doing like decide stuff afterwards. Uh, so I had to create a whole new account and play through the entire story, and I speed ran that. Uh, I speed ran that that game. Uh, just to get to the the part where you start flying uh, over the, like when you're flying over the fires and you have to kick a guard. This took me so, this like, I think it was like like a day or two because uh, I also had like some stuff I had to do, uh, just some personal stuff. But yeah, uh, so a lot of these achievements that you see right here, they're not hard to do. They're very easy. Uh, so getting the achievements was very quick. Uh, just getting all the feathers and getting all the chests were very, very, very time consuming. And whenever I missed one, <clears throat> uh, luckily it, the game tells you like what district you, the feathers in, but whenever I missed one, I had to go through every spot, having to climb, having to fight guards, having to do this, this and that. And it's just very time consuming. Uh, so yeah, um, yeah, so that's just me showing you that I got the uh, the street cleaner, whatever it, the achievement was called, and uh, the this face right here, just very very sad because I knew I had a long ways to get this achievement right here. 
So right here, I'm just going through all the achievements, just looking at what I need to do to get them. Uh, right here, uh, the achievement, Man of the People, uh, toss more than 300 florins on the ground. Uh, so like, if you don't know that move, because I never really used it, I never really see saw the need to use it. I think I've used it like maybe twice out of the years I've played this game. I did this achievement really quick. Uh, so let's see, where is it at? like right here or something and yeah I see as you can see right here I got it really uh really quick um you just gotta throw like 10 forums on the ground and so everybody was happy I got the achievement I'm happy as you can see right here with my pixelated eyes what the heck so here I am doing some more achievement hunting uh, this achievement was, uh, I forgot the name of it, I'll probably show it on the screen here a little bit, or whenever I get it. So what they, what you have to do to get this achievement is that you have to poison a NPC, uh, and then you have to perform an air assassination. So, I'll show the clip. Uh, I also want to note, I've never done this. I've never done the poison and killed somebody with it or anything like that. Uh, I just never saw, like it being useful to do maybe in like one situation you could but i never really see saw the need to do it so i try to do it i kind of fail at doing it and then finally pick it up and i'm like oh you so say you have to do it like this and as you can see i just poisoned these two guards uh and so I climb up here and then do a, the assassination. And there you go. Right here, I'm just going through like the DNA, uh, like see how much I've completed, what all I need to do. So uh, I got all the codex pages, and then I'm working on the feathers. I already got some in Florence, uh, Montegioni, Tuscany, uh, Flori, and now I'm just working on Venice. Venice took a very long time to complete, uh, just because how big Venice is. Um, so yeah, that took the most of my time. Everything else, like it's just smaller areas. Uh, and right here, I'm showing the uh, the chest. So I got in all these same thing, same thing as the feathers. Got every one of them in the other cities, but just not in Venice because uh, it's just really big. Everything else was super quick on the other cities because they were so small. Um, and so, yeah, it was just very fast to do. So, uh, yeah, uh, same thing as treasures, and I got to do all the other side missions because I have not completed them yet. So right here, I'm just showing that uh, I'm going to be doing this achievement right here. Uh, Kleptomaniac, pickpocket, 1,000 florins. Uh, so, yeah, I think this was my other account that I made to do the, let's see what it is. Yeah, so this is my uh, new account that I made to do the flies, uh, the flying machine achievement. Um, so yeah, I had just gotten the ability to pickpocket, and I was like, well, well, now that I've learned it, I mean, I already knew it in my other account, obviously, because I beat the game. Uh, but I was like, ah, I now know it. I'll just do this really quick. So yeah, I'm not gonna show. Uh, I'll just cut this out of me picking pickpocketing everybody. Um, but yeah, just right now I'm pickpocketing to get 10,000 or 1,000, whichever, however much it was, to get the achievement. So I'll just cut through all this. Alright, and then right here, this lucky group right there helped me get this achievement. I now have the Kleptomaniac achievement. Uh, this took me about like five, six minutes, almost six minutes to do. Um, so yeah, it was super quick. Uh, so right here, I'm doing the achievement where you get all eight statues in Montalgioni. Uh, you can see right up here. Um, that's one of the statues. And I do have like a map on me that I, like, I'm, I have pulled up on my phone of where all the statues are because it is just going to take forever if I just do it without a map. <laughs> and I just want to get through this game because I really have like, I really want to do other projects. I really do. Um, so yeah. I do this really quick. I uh, just want to show that I, I'm getting this achievement. And this is actually a really good uh, achievement to do 
early on in the game it, because you do get pretty rich after this. So I'll show you like the first one that I get. As you can see, I go in Eagle Vision and show where it is. And that is the first one done. Uh, so I will now fast forward to whenever I get all of them. And as you just saw right there, I got the last achieve or the uh, last statue, and I get the achievement unlocked, Myth Ma Myth Maker. Uh, and I will quickly show you. It's been a play. I will quickly quickly show you uh, how much money you get. So yeah, you get 2,000 florins uh, from just getting these two right here. Um, and you get 2,000 each one that you, uh, each like pedestal that you put the statues on. Another 2,000. So in total that's 4,000. And this should be 6,000. Eight thousand. Oh, that must be all of them then. Uh, so yeah, you do get like eight thousand. I could have sworn you got to like ten thousand. I don't know. I probably skipped through one pedestal or something. Doesn't matter. We got like eight thousand florins. It should be good to buy like uh some armor. Um, so yeah, that is a good one to start off with early on in the game when you do reach Monte Gioni. So while I'm in Monte de Gioni, uh, I do learn, I, don't, I actually, uh, this is something new to me because I never really went to this guy to learn uh, some like special moves. I uh, didn't know this was actually a thing. Um, but yeah, so one of the achievements was to throw dirt into the eyes of like five guards or something. I have no idea. Uh, but yeah, so what you do is you go to... You go to this guy, you go to special moves, and then you go to unarmed combat. And so, yeah, you just hold X, and uh, he automatically, like, picks up sand. And then you throw it in his face. So yeah, I kind of wish that I I knew this. I I really wish I knew this before I like beat the game. Like I had some like time to like play the game, uh, doing the main mission because this would have been really helpful. <laughs> this would have really been helpful. Um, so yeah, uh, I just want to show that you can do that, and I now have the ability to throw sand in people's face and fight them. Right here, what I'm doing is you can see there are courtesans right here. Uh, the achievement, uh, what you do is you spend $5,000 on courtesans. Uh, so, I mean, it's not like I can give all like 5000 to all these women right here and then uh, I get the achievement. No, I have to go around to a bunch of them and uh, spend some money to equal up to 5000 So, yeah, then I just go to each courtesan group that I see and just start spending money. I do this for quite a while actually. I don't even it took me a long time to do this. I went to like Venice and did it. This should be like the last group right here. Oh, no it's not. And right there as you just saw that last group of courtesans. 
that is my 5,000th forens uh, that I spent in Chibana Locked Red Light Attic. I recently discovered right here that uh, you can buy different like dyes for your clothes in different cities and I thought it was just like uh, whenever you go in, when you're in like Florence or something like that you have like teal or like auburn or you know just I thought it was just like just those colors and I didn't realize till now whenever I was doing this achievement that you can go into different cities and they would have different colors I wish I knew that before because I really like this uh, Wetlands Ebony dye. Um, that is really, really cool. I, I really like that. That is really nice. Um, so yeah, I do eventually like keep this uh, this dye right here. And I'm just showing that you get this, uh, showing me getting this achievement. So what you do is you wear the Wetlands Ebony die and i'm just showing it off right there and then after that like i get the uh, wetlands ivory die and then i get the achievement and as you can see the ebony is like significantly more uh significantly the ebony is significantly more expensive sorry i can't speak i'm distracted uh but yeah so perfect harmony um, got the achievement, super easy, uh, and yeah. So, I do manage to go back to Montero Gianni because I didn't realize this too, but there is one achievement where you have to knock down a bunch of guards, uh, at the same time with a long weapon. Something else that I really wish that I learned to do, but I kind of, like... I used it like a good bit after this, but I didn't use it like too much. So uh, let me just show you what, what you do. It is quite expensive, I will say that. So as you can see, I have like a two-handed long weapon. Try to get this guy off me. And uh, yeah, you just saw I swept his legs right there. So right here, I'm just showing really quick of me getting this achievement. Uh, as you can see right here, I have a pike in my hands, a uh, two-handed weapon that I got from one of the guys that uh, hold them. I'm sure you've seen it a thousand times. Um, so yeah, I had managed to kill him and then picked up his weapon and, I, weapon and I rallied up some guards right here so I have a better chance of me knocking down more that are in a group so let me just show you real quick of me getting the achievement and right there i got the sweeper achievement so right now what i'm doing is i'm doing the achievement where you and i'm uh, back on my uh new account that i made to get this achievement but i'm getting the uh flying machine achievement i don't know what the name of it's called uh, but it's one where you have to knock down a guard or kick a guard while on the flying machine. I'm I did like uh I already did like my first run and I ended up crashing. But uh so yeah, it desynchronized me and so now I'm back onto the flying machine. So let me just quickly show you uh me completing this achievement. As you can see, there's a bunch of guards right there, and I swoop down, and I kick them. And right there, fly swatter. This achievement took me so long to do, just because... And, like, the thing is, like, I just only did the main mission. I didn't do, like, as like right here on the mini-map, it's all just, like, tiles or something like that. It's not, like, showing a map or anything. I didn't bother with viewpoints. I didn't bother with chests or anything, just a main mission, and it still took me so long to complete. So I am I was so happy whenever I got this achievement. I think what I'm saying right here uh, is, as you can see right here in memory of Petruccio, uh I collected all the feathers. Uh, 
So yeah, I was trying to get all the, uh, I was trying to capture it on camera, but I was too late to pause my game because Ezio was automatically climbing to the top, uh, where the last feather was. Um, but yeah, I just want to quickly show that I had completed the, uh, feathers achievement. Um, the first time I've ever done that. And so then right here, I'm just showing that that's where all the chests are. It's just in that area and then in the middle part right there. Uh, so yeah, uh, after this, I just went around, got all the chests, uh, all the chests, uh, and completed that. So right after that clip I just showed uh, of me uh, getting all the feathers and going around getting the chests. Like, I haven't gotten around the chests yet, but uh, what I ended up doing was I went to Monte de Gioni to deposit the feathers. Um, but this this part right here is where I realized that my mic was muted, uh, so then I just carry on with like a normal episode. So I'll just let uh, this place play. So I just realized this entire time my mic has been muted. <sighs> Everything always goes wrong when I try to record. But yeah, like I was trying to say was... Uh, I had gotten all 100 feathers, and so now we're in Montorgioni, and we're gonna go deposit the feathers uh, and see what happens. Cause I'm pretty sure something happens when we deposit all 100 feathers. First thing we're gonna do, which we don't really need to, cause we already have everything. Get all the money. Gosh, I really wonder how long my mic has been muted this whole time. <laughs> Something I always need to check, but I never do. Alright, here we are. Okay, the audio is messed up right there. I don't know what happened. But Mama's finally talking. Um, so yeah, getting all 100 feathers was important because, uh, one, we get that uh, collect 100 feather achievement uh, in memory of Petruccio. But also, another important thing that we get is we get the auditory cape. So we're gonna go to our inventory. Go to outfits. Yep, there we go. And we're going to wear the auditory cape. Oh, yeah, there we go. Alright. So, that's going to be important for us to do because... Uh, we're we gonna, we're going to wear the auditory cape in all four cities. So, that's uh, Monte de Gioni, which... Wait, I don't really know if Monte de Gioni counts but we're gonna i'm gonna uh just like cut when we go to each city and then it'll show the achievement our first stop is in venice as you can see um on the top left let me turn off my camera on the top left we are now uh notorious because what the auditory cape does is that it makes us notorious in each city uh so yeah I don't know why, but it's just a thing that we can do if we really want to. And next, we're gonna go to Florence or Florence. Okay, we are now in Florence. We're gonna now go to Tuscany. We are now in Tuscany, and now we are going to go to. Uh, Romagna, I think that's how you call it, or Flory. Okay, we are now in Flory. Um, and one thing that we have to do now, and you can't fast travel in, is to the mountains. 
So now we are going to go head over to the mountains and we grab a horse. So this will be quicker. Where is a horse? I found a horse. All right, and to the mountains. There we did it. We did it. Show your colors. We got the achievement. All right. Uh, actually, how many achievements do we have left? And there you go. We just got 50 out of 50 achievements all 50 achievements that is awesome um now that doesn't mean that we 100 percent complete the game i mean you could you can call this 100 percent and be done with it but no um so what we're gonna be doing now is wrong button now what we're gonna be doing is just doing all the side stuff so yeah we got to do the uh like beat up events and races and assassinations um and we are almost done with the treasures we only have 10 left so yeah just i'll be back whenever i finish grinding out on the chests all right uh we are now on the last chest it is up there so we're gonna have to climb up here Okay, so I was looking in the wrong area, but this is the last chest. Finally, we have collected all 330 chests. I believe it was 330. I guess nothing special happens. It's fine. Um, let me just show you real quick. Go to DNA. Go all the way over. And it'd be uh, treasures. So yeah, 330. All of them. Um, so yeah, now really that's all left is the, uh, the side quests, like the races, assassination, the beat of revenge, courier. Uh, I am wondering about this, uh, secret location thing, like, like they're all grayed out, like on the top, like the, the diamond on there. They still, like, they're, gray, they're grayed out, um, but I'm not sure if there's anything else I need to do on them, so I will try to do some research on that. But yeah, uh, I'm almost done with everything that there needs to be so after hours and hours and hours basically a couple of days of uh doing everything in assassin's creed 2 <clears throat> excuse me i have finished every side quest i finished the main story every side quest got all the feathers did all the chests i have done everything i have even uh I've even bought everything in the stores, like all the art shops, um, the armory. I've completed this little table right here, like bought all the like renovations and whatever, and everything. Salute, Claudia. Uh, to look at the book. I'm gonna show you the book. As you can see, I've gotten a hundred percent completion. And uh, so you think, and I've gotten all the achievements. Uh, that I've shown before and you think that I would have 100% completion on this game well not exactly something that I can't get well I mean I can get but uh, so you can see on the right side it says synchronization percentage it's 96.8% uh, so yeah and I've done all the side quests, and you think it'd be 100%, but no, it's not, because from what I read, I don't know how true this is, but I need to buy all the bonus maps and the Uplay map, uh, and I'm not going to do that, because that should be like a base game thing, where you should have 100% completion without any other purchases, any no other additions or anything like that, that I think that's really stupid, but I guess that's a way to get their money. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to could just consider this 100%. It's gonna kind of bother me that it's not completely 100% without all this like stuff I need to buy. It's just like, whatever. I'm not even gonna get into that. 
Um, but uh, yeah, that is a hundred percent complete Assassin's Creed too. Um, so yeah, I've been I've been behind on my videos. Like uh, I've got like another Dishonored video I need to edit, upload. I've got to edit this video, and uh, yeah, so exciting news now because now I am finally finished with Assassin's Creed Two, and I've got Black Flag just right around the corner waiting to be recorded i've gotten everything set up for it uh and i've got yeah i'm just ready for it uh so yeah i hope you enjoyed this bonus video and uh i'll see you in the next one